bell. Everybody loves a dinner bell. What does that mean? That means it's time to cease work and a little bit of relaxation and sit down at mama's table and have a feast. Well, whether you knew it or not, nature has a dinner bell. And in the fall, as the mass crop begins to ripen and fall to the ground, as it hits the leaves, that sends a signal to the animals of the forest that it's time to eat. I'd like to touch base with you a little bit here on a couple species of the oak. Uh, we're not going to cover all 600 species. We're just going to cover the red and the white oak. And of course, I can't leave out the hickory. So without further ado, I'm going to try to explain to you the differences. We need to understand and know that the deer prefer the white oak over any other. And when the white oak is depleted, they'll hit the, any other thing that's laying on the ground. The red, the black, the water oak, uh, chestnuts, and things of such like that. So without further ado, let's get right down to visualizing these leaves so that you can help to determine uh, the type of acorn that's fallen in your woods. Okay, to the left here we have the mighty white oak. And if you look at the leaves, you'll notice that the lobes or the tips of these lobes are rounded. You can see that that is a white oak and that is uh, favored by the white-tailed deer because supposedly they're sweeter. I really cannot justify that statement because I've never tasted one myself. Uh, and the acorns, let's see if I can get you a little view of the acorns there. Just remember now that the white oaks have the rounded lobe. There you go, it's a good view of the lobes on the leaves. Okay, now the next species that I want to look at in my area, actually on the Stevens family homestead, is the red oak. And if you'll take notice of these leaves, that they are, the lobes are pointy, tend to have a point on the end of the leaves. Let me grab one for you here. This is a view of the red oak leaves. You see the points, how they point out. And of course the um, the nuts. Deer like these too, but if they have a choice between the red and the white oak, hands down they're going to take the white. That's been my experience anyway. And these these two and of course we have the black oak too and all that but if we look at the differences in them you should be able to go into the woods and um, if the foliage is still on the trees then you can understand which is which the white oak has the round lobes on the leaves and the red oak has the pointy ends on the lobes, on the leaves. And another one of the uh, nuts, or the mass crop nuts, uh, in the woods that we need to learn to recognize would be this critter right here. This would be a hickory. You notice how the leaves look like a football. And you might say, well, 
do deer like hickory nuts as a last resort yes they will probably eat these but I'm showing you these for the squirrel hunters that we have out there and the turkey hunters um, squirrel hunters will clean a hickory tree off before they touch any other nut in my opinion in my area And as you see the leaves, as we look down a little closer, we can see what an actual hickory nut looks like. It doesn't, it doesn't have the little hat on like the acorns do. Just a round green nut, about the size of a quarter or so. And that is squirrel magnet. So I hope you've enjoyed this little episode. And uh, helping you to identify the different types of acorns and the mass crop, white oak, red oak, and uh, of course the hickory. Hickory tree also for squirrels and turkeys. So we hope you enjoyed that and uh, you're watching Stephen's family outdoors. Have a good day. This is JW.